this question, we're going to look at a chemical reaction between beryllium oxide. All right, um, beryllium has a plus two charge, oxygen has a minus two charge, so together it's BEO. All right, we're going to react that with iron phosphate. All right, iron here, they tell us, has a plus three charge, and phosphate also has a plus or minus three charge. All right, we're going to do a double replacement here. So we're going to switch the metals and the nonmetals to give us iron oxide. All right, we're going to crisscross our charges here to give us Fe2O3. And um, our other product would be beryllium phosphate. All right, so here what we want to do is figure out how many grams of iron oxide we're going to make. So we're going to start with 38 grams of beryllium oxide. We're going to convert that to moles using the molecular weight. All right, the molecular weight of beryllium we can find on the periodic table. It's a molecular weight of 9. And then the molecular weight of oxygen is 16. We add those together. 9 plus 16 gives us 25. All right, that's the number of grams in one mole of beryllium oxide. All right, now we're not quite able to just uh, use our equation yet because we have to balance it. And so what we notice here is that the phosphate and the iron have twos on this side of the equation. So I'm going to put a two here. And the oxygen and the beryllium have three, so I'm going to put a three there. All right, now we can use our balanced equation. All right, so these tell us the mole-to-mole -mole ratios of our um, products and reactants. So we know for every three moles of beryllium oxide from this, we get one mole of iron oxide. All right, now it's a quick conversion to get back to grams using the periodic table. All right, so the molecular weight of iron is 55.8. There are two of them in iron oxide. All right, and then oxygen has a molecular weight of 16. There are three of them. So this guy is a total molecular weight of 159.6. So we know in one mole of iron oxide, we have 159.6 grams of iron oxide. All right, we multiply across the top, divide by the bottom. So this becomes 38 times 159.6 divided by 25 times 3. If we hit that with a calculator, we get 80.86 grams of iron oxide. All right, and then if we want to pay attention to significant figures, we notice that this is two significant figures, so we would round this to 81 grams of iron oxide.